That's amazing. But wow. Oh yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Whew. That's awesome. And <laughs> cheers. Mmm. That is awesome. Whoa. That's awesome. Now that's a powerful flavor. I don't know what. This is okay. Magic. That is amazing. Wow. So good. Wow. Dude, yeah. Wow. Yes. What's in that? Um, Okay, just woke up and actually the GoPro isn't charged yet, so just using my phone. But look at all those mantau, those buns, those steamed buns. And then this is very special here. This is called yo cha, oil tea, like an herb tea. Smells so awesome. Yeah, so my friend's grandmother drinks this every day for breakfast. Put the rice on the oil and then fry to yellow. Okay, so rice. Tea, then fry again. Oh, there is tea in it. Wow, so rice fried and then adding tea leaves and then frying again. Yeah, it is oily and tasty. Oh my gosh, with, okay. And these have in the middle just a little bit of sesame and sugar but it's mostly just rice flour steamed and expertly rolled look at that wow. mm -hmm. past this garden. Now I just think of all the meals that it has provided for us. Beautiful. They pickle most of these, but we ate some of them fresh in the sauce. And then, ah, this is the one that was in those dumpling things. That was the vegetable in there. Okay, we are going to explore some of the nature up in the hills again. Okay, let's go. The sun is strong, super strong, but if you're in the shade, because there's low humidity, you can feel cool. But when you get in the sun, whew, I am sweating. <laughs> okay, let's climb a mountain. See, this is all ginger. So many families have gardens like this. So cool. We are taking this public staircase up, up, up. Many staircases, but all along the side, you have different people's small plots of land. So it's basically just a mission of pointing out what other families are growing, which is cool to see because if everyone's growing plants at their own home, then yeah, you would be interested in what other families grow. So this staircase goes way up, I don't know, 300 stairs so far. Most of the way up now, I think it's been about 20 minutes, but this is some fresh water. So the Obviously the government built this, but people, local people in this area can come here for, for fresh spring water from under the mountain. So even just climbing up all these stairs, it is a little bit cooler up here, 300 meters, almost to the top. Trying to encourage, encourage this guy to keep going. Our friend here, climbing stairs is great exercise for everyone. And if you have this many stairs to climb, that is a great workout indeed. Wow, that is gorgeous. So these are all guava trees, but actually maybe there's been like a fire here or something. 
none of them have any guavas anymore. But at the bottom, all of them had little guavas. But anyways, almost there. This is a great way to boost your altitude acclimatization because in Lijiang it's even higher. Shangri-La is even higher so we really need to adapt to the altitude. So yeah, I'm breathing hard but whew, there's less oxygen the higher you go up. So need to acclimatize by climbing stairs. So I guess this, like some, some mountains at the top it's all covered with trees. Back in here, you can find wild pigs and there are a lot of snakes, both of which people come to hunt. And our friend did not come with us actually because he is sure there are so many snakes. So, just getting a feeling of the forest. Wow. Climb back down. Maybe the whole climb took maybe less than 30 minutes. I think it's gonna rain. Okay, we are heading back, but I was mentioning a few things on the list of foods that I had researched and he heard one of the words, oh, you haven't had that yet? It's called Er Kwai. And it is a food that you gotta have when you're in this province. Okay, I guess it's a sweet, sweet drink first. Tian Jiao is a type of wine. Oh, you know what? This is the fermented rice. Oh, okay. Okay, so. I'm guessing some sweet stuff on top and some sour on the bottom. Wow. How how her That is a flavor. Wow. Milao, Milao. Yeah, that has alcohol in it. That's hilarious for like a sweet cold drink that kids might order to have alcohol in it. I don't know. Kids aren't ordering this, right? But it's almost like a sweet snack, like an after-school snack. But it has fermented rice in it. Wow, that is a flavor. Wow, that is tasty and refreshing. So this, in fact, has Urquai. And let's find out what it is. Okay, so rice cakes. So he just said that I want the spicy version and they said, what? Why her and she Roasting beans. Rice flour wrappers, and then you have okay, some soybeans, some chilies, uh, some fermented beans, some chili oil. Nice, the classic combo. Oh man, it looks beautifully simple. A lot of chilies, some fermented salty ingredients, and mine right there with the egg. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's potato, right? Oh man, this is awesome. Snack. Okay, so this is a burrito from the high mountains near Tibet. That is epic. Man, so instead of corn, tortilla, you have a rice paper. Wow. Mm. That chili oil. And then not really the, the flavor, but the smell of those fermented cabbage and carrots. That is gorgeous. So in Bali, they have a different version. This is Huangping, or Huangping. 
Mm. Okay. So these are mm. five, five, four, five renminbi each. You have different options, but I just got basically all the all the options, except I didn't get any sausage. I wanted the egg version instead. So she just put a whole fried egg and then rolled it up. It is just perfect, like the Tibet burrito. I love it. Mm. I don't usually like to compare foods because each country really has their own traditional foods, but that's that's like. I mean, that's awesome. That's a rice, basically a rice wrapped burrito instead of corn. So awesome. Wow. The killer thing they do here is with the chili sauce. Oh, always. China has the best dipping sauces. Okay. 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 Love it. Or why? So they said this is a hit with the little the young students, if we came back here in the morning, so it's it's raining now by the way, if we came back here in the morning, we would see lines of kids. Oh, look at that. Okay, we came there so fast I didn't even get a story of why we were going there. So not only was that Li Shu spot as one of the little students to go for the Er Huai, but they, they remembered him and they were asking about the new friends that you brought today. Very nice ladies. Awesome snack. I can see why you went there as a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Li Yi. How chu ma? Was it good? Yes, this is the first time I have it also. It's so good. Can you tell me the difference between like uh, Yi Kuai Tian, San Kuai Tian, and Er Kuai? Uh, Kuai. Just, uh, we use the same word, but Hard to pronounce. No, it's hard to explain. Just oh, okay. Chinese, we say one and B, Yi Kuai, or Yi Yuan. And that Kuai, I can't, I can't explain. I can't explain. I should have given you more time to prepare an answer. No, even you give me enough time, I can't explain it. <laughs> okay. No matter how, how long, even you give me the two or three days. Okay, so going home, it's almost dinner time. That's how they do things in China. Okay, so here you have the mountain weather. The whole time we were driving, it was bright sunlight. And then it started to hail. And we're still in the sun, but it is Look how heavy the rain! But it's still in sunlight! <laughs> okay, I'm putting the phone away. Peace! It is definitely not a bad thing that Chinese culture cares so much for food, preparation for food, welcoming with food, getting together for food, going out for food. Gosh. That. Oh, man. Li Xu, this is what? Everything. Yeah. Wow. 